In today's video, I'm gonna share with you three powerful hypnotic language patterns that help you be more influential and to get more yeses. Uh, as you can see here, I'm actually live at my hypnosis training here in Las Vegas, training a bunch of hypnotists, and I wanted to create this video before everybody came in. So let's dive into the content. So the first technique you're gonna learn here is something called pacing and leading, okay? So here's what pacing and leading is. Pacing is when we say something true to our client or to the person we're communicating with, true to their reality. In other words, as you're sitting there watching this video, listening to me speak, what did I just do there? I just paced your reality. So in other words, I said three things that were true. As you're sitting there, maybe you were standing, that would be the only thing that wouldn't be true, but if you're standing with somebody, you say as you're standing there, watching this video, listening to me speak, What's happening is you're starting to create what's called yes sets in the mind. And the more that you can pace somebody, then we can begin to lead them. So a lead is not necessarily something that is true. It's something that where we want to take somebody, right? So if this is a sales situation or an influence situation, uh, you would lead them down the path of where you want them to go. So again, as an example, as you're sitting there holding the phone in your hand, watching this video, listening to me speak, you're gonna realize that this video is one of the most powerful videos you've ever seen on hypnosis. Now you notice how that last statement may not have necessarily been true, but because I created the four yeses in a row, as you're sitting there holding the phone in your hand, watching this video, listening to me speak, your mind's like, yes, 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 yes. So then it automatically assumes that the fifth thing I say, the lead is also gonna be true as well. So again, it's what's called creating a yes set. Also guys, make sure to take notes and actually put notes in the comments. This is gonna do two things. One, it's gonna help you internalize and memorize it. And then also it's gonna help other people that are watching the video get the cliff notes so they can see it as well. And also, if you like this first one, hit that like button, okay? Second one is what's called contractions, okay? So contractions are words that end with an apostrophe, like don't, won't, wouldn't, couldn't, aren't, things like this. Now, not every single contraction you're gonna use in this case, but we can use contractions to create yes sets in the mind. So it's kinda of like this, you're, love, you're loving watching this video, aren't you, right? So when I use a contraction, either at the beginning or the end of the sentence, it naturally makes people want to agree. Uh, isn't that right? <laughs> so there's another one, isn't it, right? And don't you think it's a good idea to hit that like button now? So whenever you start creating contractions, you're starting to get little yeses from people, and once people start to agree with something, it becomes very hard for them to disagree because now they're having to go against their own identity, right? Once somebody says, yes, I love X, Y, Z, it's hard for them to undo it because now they've taken on a part of that belief system as their identity. So to go against that goes against their own belief system. So you can start using this in influence and sales conversations. I love to use this with my clients when I'm doing hypnosis with them. And at the end of our session, let's say they uh, you know, wanna uh, make phone calls in their business or take a certain action. When I pull them out of hypnosis, I say, I'll look them dead in the eyes on, on the Zoom and I'll say, you're gonna make those phone calls, aren't you? And they're like, yes. I say, and you're gonna wake up at six o'clock in the morning every single day, isn't that right? And they're like, yes. And whatever else I say. So you can start to use these. Now, you can also not only use them at the end of the sentence, you can also use them at the beginning of the sentence. So it'd be like, um, wouldn't it be a great idea to comment the notes down below? Would that be a great idea? So I'm using the contraction at the beginning of the sentence rather than at the end. And don't you think it's a good idea to hit the subscribe button now, if you haven't already? And wouldn't it be amazing when you internalize this information and you can actually use it with others? So again, guys, start to use contractions, okay, at the beginning of sentences and at the end. Now, if you want a good tool to be able to uh, find out all, like, all the different contractions you can use, literally just go on Google and type in contractions. You'll get a list of all the words that have, so, and by the way, a contraction, the reason why it's called contractions is because you're taking two words, right? Do not, and you're contracting it into don't, right? Or cannot, and you're contracting it into can't. 
So get a list of all the contractions and you can see the ones that you can actually use to get more yeses from people. And then you can start to weave them into your conversations, okay? So again, pacing and leading. Pacing is saying something that is true to somebody's reality. Leading is getting them to where they want to go. And then we can actually combine these two using contractions. So check this out. And, I, and I'm using this same one over and over because you guys are sitting there holding the phone in your hand, watching this video, uh, listening to me speak, and you now realize that this is one of the most transformational videos you've ever watched on hypnotic language patterns. Isn't that right? So now I've combined pacing, leading, with the contractions, right? Isn't that right? Hit that like button down below if you're liking this so far. Okay, number three is called uh, tie downs. Okay, these are also known as uh, trial closes. If I don't run out of uh, space here, uh, or yes sets. So these are very, very simple uh, questions you ask people after you have explained something to somebody. You ask them simple questions like, does that make sense? Are you getting this? Do you understand this? Is this making sense? Is this clear to you? Can you see how that works? Do you understand this? Do you hear me? Are you buying this? Are you getting this? So what this starts to do is you start to create little micro commitments to yes, right? When you're getting people to say yes to something, they're more likely to sign up for your products or services or uh, go on that date with you or make that business connection, make that friendship because you have them in a yes state. So again, you start to combine pacing and leading they're, as you're pacing people, they're like, yes, 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 yes. And then you lead them in the direction you want to go. You start to use contractions. Isn't that right? Wouldn't that be amazing? Don't you think it's a good idea? You're going to do this, aren't you? That's a, um, you want to go to such and such, don't you? And as you're explaining things, you say things like, does that make sense? Are you getting this? Are you following along? Now, some of this stuff we naturally already do anyways, right? Um, in, a, in an influence, a sales situation, or even in a hypnotic sense of working with the client, putting them under hypnosis, you can start uh, to get them to agree to the change that they want, right? Somebody that wants to create a better life for themselves financially, uh, emotionally, spiritually, you can use this to help people agree to their new reality, right? Hey, you're going you're gonna to go to the gym every single day, aren't you? Okay, cool. And uh, whenever you make those phone calls, you're going to do X, Y, and Z. Does that make sense? Yes. Right, And as you're sitting there watching this video wondering what I'm going to say next, you'll realize you're going to go to the gym every single day. Isn't that right? Yes, 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 yes. So guys, if you like this content, so two, two things. Number one, if you're a business owner who wants to create massive transformation, just the other day, like two, three days ago, I got a, client, a text from a client. He said, Dom, I had a $50,000 day. And he's already at, so this was yesterday actually, because it's a, uh, yeah, uh, no, no, it was on uh, Monday, Monday, $50,000 day. He did $200,000 in the month of September. Now this is the biggest month he's ever had by more than double his normal uh, monthly revenue and his, and his typical monthly revenue. And what happened with this client is he had a belief that he wasn't good enough and he didn't deserve certain things. And once we went and removed those beliefs, suddenly his income skyrocketed. So if you're a business owner, you're like, Dom, I'm ready to go to the next level. There's gonna be a link down in the description for you to book a free hypnosis assessment with somebody on my team to see if either you and I are a good fit to work together or uh, you're a good fit to work with somebody on my team. And then also, if you're somebody who wants to learn hypnosis, whether you wanna use it in business, like we're talking about an influence setting, uh, or maybe you want to learn it to help yourself or to help others, or maybe you wanna learn it to uh, do this full time like I do, there's actually a free training down in the description. You can click on it, enter your information, and get access to the additional training. All right guys, so hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment your favorite one of these down below, and we'll see you in the next video.